Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and then try and hear what God is saying to us today. 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 2 and 3. Like newborn babies, you must crave pure spiritual milk so that you'll grow into a full experience of salvation. Cry out for this nourishment now that you've had a taste of the Lord's kindness. Babies are not subtle in their demand for milk. When they need feeding, they're very happy to let everyone know about it. Peter uses this powerful imagery to describe a young Christian's desperate need to be fed spiritually. And so we have no doubt that he's referring to our need for the word of God. We've been given the treasure of the Bible and we need to ensure that we're continually receiving nourishment from it. Only in that way will we grow and become strong and mature. The need to be fed isn't just good advice for new Christians. We all need feeding, and we need to organise our lives in such a way as to ensure that it really happens. We wouldn't think of being haphazard about our physical feeding, having a meal from time to time when we happen to be in the mood. We organise our lives in such a way as to ensure that we eat and drink regularly. We know full well that without food we'd soon be ill. Our spiritual nourishment is equally crucial, and I believe that the Lord's Prayer is a good reminder of it. Give us each day the food we need. Having a huge spiritual meal from time to time won't be enough. It's a great encouragement to attend Christian festivals and large celebrations where we may be wonderfully well fed with spiritual food, but we all need to be nourished by the daily rhythm of receiving God's word. I love the reason that Peter gives for encouraging his readers to seek God's nourishment. He says it is because they have had a taste of the Lord's kindness. It's as if he's saying, now that you've experienced how great God is, you won't want to miss out on all the other blessings that he has in store for you. Spending time in God's word cannot fail to be an amazing experience. Let me pray with you. Lord God, thank you for the way in which you strengthen us with your word day by day. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier. If you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I hope you have a great day.